Hey guys, Rob Bush here. Um, just wanted to show you a couple things with the uh, old generator that I uh, feel is important to the system and why it works and how it works. I wanted to demonstrate that to you. Um, I'm going to be taking apart for some of the pieces and reusing it on the new one. Um, what I wanted to show you first though, the same old machine. Um, we're not really concerned about how we're going to turn the motor or whatever and we're not looking for efficiency, not doing anything with that. But we're going to be using a battery charger to turn the motor um, and pulse it with, the, with one of the uh, commutator sections. But all we're really concerned about are the six coils, the six magnets, um, like any typical generator you've got two wire, the, uh, actually the six coils run in series from one another so you got two wires, the beginning of one and the end of the last one coming up to the bridge rectifier which is pretty typical and common Zoop, can you zoom in on here? I am the, uh, the coil comes in on the AC side of the rectifier and leaves DC which is common here so what we've got is a pink positive out a black negative what's uncommon is tied into the same output or input from the coils to the bridge rectifier is a uh, basically a capturing circuit um, what basically uh, with with Bendini we're, we're, we're trying to capture this radiant spike that appears after the magnets have passed the coils. If you can uh, if you can close the circuit at the right point of time you can capture one of these spikes. Actually you can capture more and I'll show you. But the gist of that is that these these two the coil comes in and then at the same time it comes to a commutator section and I'll show more how this works especially when I put it together on the other machine but essentially what we're doing is one comes off to the brush on one side the other side of the uh, ACN comes down to the switch from the switch back up to this side the switch is allowing us to turn on or off this collapsing or, or closing shorting of the circuit to cause this radiant energy to come into the coils so we'll be able to turn that on and off that's the key point there um, what we'll do is I'll fire it up, I'll get the motor running and uh, show you the differences um, on the Soko and what it looks like and uh, kind of show you some of the usages I guess and show you that it is useful power um, one other thing, I um, may have to try to zoom in really good in here. This commutator section inside, can you see that? That copper bar in there? Come up closer if you need to. This copper bar is kind of the, uh, it's kind of a duty cycle per se. What you have is battery power comes in and charges the whole pipe and on one side it headed to the motor, it heads to the motor. So you've got an on time that dictates how long this brush touches that copper. It's cut at an angle so the further I adjust this brush out the less duty cycle I get or pulses per revolution. The other part of the circuit on the flip side of this you would typically off the bridge rectifier have a capacitor that's charging and send it backwards to the battery. It's a higher potential so it'll be forced backwards into the battery and charged so you get a charge run charge run cycle. That's uh, the timing of this part is really you know, just as critical and I'm still experimenting with this. I build a little different design maybe uh, some a little more adjustability, but that's kind of one of the, the principles and you'll hear it pulsing when we start up the motor and, until it evens out, but uh, you'll hear how unsmooth it runs and we'll actually see that in the scope with the production too as well. So I'll turn it on. Um, I just like to get it in spot so it doesn't turn right on. Alright, scope 
scope now you can see actually we'll take it off that's zeroed out we've got the ground of the scope to the ground wire off the bridge rectifier the positive lead take this off so there's no extra wires right now so we got positive negative and that looks pretty much like a DC output. The magnets are all north facing so we're not getting the pull down of the sine wave. That in its 